Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're well. So, as a shadow of the Earth Tree inevitably marches forward, and we are about 19 days away from its release at time of recording, um, I wanted to talk to you, to my fellow grinders. When I say grinders, I'm talking about the 20, 250, 300 plus crap. The people who have at least two stats sitting comfortably at 99. So let's be real here. We have tons of options, and we can at this point play basically any build we'd like. But I have shopped, in my opinion, uh, one of the most consistent uh, ways to effectively beat mostly any boss in the game. And I'm going to go over that with you today, and we're going to have an example. We're going to be... There are about four categories of enemies. You got your tarnished enemies, your PvP like level, like that type of enemy. You have your uh, your fast and furious enemies. These are enemies that will move a lot and are generally like fairly small. These are your crumbling Faramazula beasts. These are your uh, these can be uh, your knight like your your big knights like your flaming knights. These can be Melania. Good example. Uh, next up, you have uh, your Binguses. These are ones that are, are big, imposing, domineering, but don't necessarily move fast in a way that is too much of a concern. This is your... Uh, I, I'd put Erdtree avatars in here. These are your uh, Putrid avatars. These are your... Uh, these are uh, your Putrid Tree Spirits. These are your uh, Fire Giants. These are your... Uh, you know... Certain dragons, certain like these are your dragons. Like I would even put dragons under this category, even if you know once they're dead, they they they're in a spot they don't move until they decide to go up into the air. In third, you have your in betweens. These are your uh, mor morgoths. These are your uh, uh, god uh, uh, godfreys. These are bigger. En these are your elden beasts. These are big enemies or falling star beasts. Is another good example. These. Estelles. These are big enemies that move quite a bit, are big, and uh, you know they they move. They do. They don't necessarily stay um, idle for too long. And I have strategies for each one of these uh, affinities, and we're going to go over that today. Uh, first of all, let's go over equipment. This is important. We have the goat, the fast blasphemous blade. This build is going to be, if nothing else, focused primarily on uh, on strength and faith. Faith being the big operator here. If you're going to, if you're going to have one of your damage stats be maxed out, faith is going to be it. You don't put like, that, and, and and you're not going to be doing using incantations for most battles, for most fights, as most of your damage, which is a good thing. You have your blasphemous blade, you have your dragon communion seal, and then you have. Uh, I have the quality cross uh, um, na Naga Nitas, but in reality, you can effectively put any uh, spear in your offhand, and as long as uh, this, you, you're able to put Black Flame Tornado onto this spear, it doesn't matter what it is. I think uh, the, I, I go for the, quality, the, the cross Naga Nita because it is personally, I think, good for the PvP invader enemies, and I like also don't not, not having to modify my build too much for PvP personally. But uh, I think the uh, vulgar saw blade, the saw blade spear is uh, I think has marginally more damage if you try it to make max. Uh, uh, this is um, if you you can wear uh, anything uh, tr tree sentinel heavy heavy like that like those like veterans that stuff. Or above. Um, if you want to go for anything lighter than this, um, you're go we're going to have to reevaluate talismans. So uh, if, if, if it is a piece of armor with the same weight distribution or on that level as the tree sentinel armor, um, you're generally pretty good. If you want to go up to Bulgo to do that, be my guest, you're probably going to get a lot more damage negation than boys out of that. I choose not to because I want to look. I like I like a little bit of Elden. Talismans. Uh, 
the dragon, if you're not going for bull goat or um, Lionel or uh, Omen armor or any of those, you're going to your the dragon crest great shield is non negotiable. This will allow you to take multiple hits from multiple endgame bosses and, and still be able to kind of, you know, it, it, it allows, it, it's a lot more forgiving. Uh, Flock Canvas Talisman. Uh, a lot of, there's going to be uh, a lot of our tech options as far as incantations are concerned. Uh, need a little bit of more oomph. Um, so uh, I would say as much of a pain in the ass it is to get, you are a level 225, 250, 300 plus character. You've probably beaten New Game Plus 7. Just just do the quest. It's it's whatever. Shard of Alexander. One of the best talismans in the game. Goes without saying. Since we're using Blasphemous Blade. And uh, Taker's Flame is going to be a huge part of our build here. Um, for a lot of enemies, this is going to be super duper important. As well as Black Man. Also boost Black Man. Uh, our fourth slot, this is your flex spot. So if you do decide to uh so we have there are a few options right you can go for bull goods talisman if you need the extra poise if you're looking for an extra fire damage you can go to the fire scorpion charm i wouldn't recommend it you can go pearl drake talisman great if you decide to you know if you want to wear a different type of armor and you still want to be able to take a hit um this uh this this is basically your flex spot I go with Gold Scara because I'm still wanting to level up, and it costs me more than five and a half billion per level up at this point. So, well, I, I, so I need it. I still got 113 levels to go. Um, as far as Wonders Physic, uh, we are going Flaming Shrouding Cracked Tear. Uh, if you are decide to not do a uh, Tree Sentinel Tear of um, Armor Weight, and you want to go something lighter, you can swap out the Flaming Cracks tier for the uh, um, uh, the Pearl. Uh, if you want, if you are willing to live dangerously and you are at this level of Elden Ring and you are willing to like to risk, you know, run backs on your ruins, feel free to get rid of the Twiggy Crack tier. I, I my, my, my full government name is Evan Joseph Bitch Made Hacker, so I'm not taking that. Let's be my guest. If you want to, if you can swap either of these out. For the pearl, uh, for the uh, for the uh, for the fifteen percent damage negation one, but that's her call. Uh, these are just here, so when I pick up, uh, um, these are just here, so when I pick up uh, things, uh, it doesn't auto equip all. Though these mean nothing. Um, now just now we're now to talk about incantations. Now while. Sorceries definitely are a great way to deal damage in their own right. You're not dealing most of your damage with incantations. You they can't you can do it with them, but mo but but if I'm being honest, these are these are how you are attacking certain enemies in, in certain combat games. We're starting with Urtree Heal. Uh, if you run out of if you run out of red if you run out of crimson tears, don't worry about it. You're still Gucci. This also, if you are the type of person who prefers to use summons, especially after, you know, you've beaten almost every single boss without using summons every single time, and you're just trying to vibe and have fun, this is good because it'll allow them to, to heal themselves, especially if you're, specifically, in my case, if you're using the Mimic tier. Golden Vow, Flame Grabbing Strength, goes without saying. These are your, obviously, your buffs. Definitely stellar to have. Uh, Black Flame, Black Flame Ritual. Uh, these are uh, these are used for your mid level, your 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 uh, your, uh, your fast your fast and large enemies. Uh, Frenzy burst. This is allowing you to take out uh, sniping enemies. This is very good at Artina, the other lethargical town, being able to push back the um, archer uh, to be just out of view. So when you're running across, you're not having to dodge as many arrows. You're having to dodge maybe. Uh, three or four, as opposed to six, repeatedly from three from each enemy. Uh, Boralis is missed. This is really good for clearing out enemies when you're trying to get to the Great Ghost Glove Ward in Mogwin's Palace. You know, in that little mausoleum area with all of the uh, zombies down at the bottom, this is really helpful for clearing. Swarm of Flies. This is, uh, you're, you're, 
if you are in a PvP encounter or a or or an invasion encounter of some sort, this can be helpful. By and large, this is mainly just to sort of force bosses to sort of do their dodges dodge attacks from things. So you can, you know, spam a few of these and they keep dodging so you can line up, say, a Black Flame or a Frenzy Burst and hit them. Wrath of Gold. Wrath of Gold and Poison Armament. Both of these are for when you're dealing with invasion level people or you're bored and you want to try a status effect attack. By and large, these are just going to be for dealing with Anastasia the Tarnished Eater um, or, any of, or any other invaders that you might have to deal with. Very useful. Also, Wrath of Gold is also pretty handy against... Things like the death ray birds goes without saying. Um, your private, you are pri your primary bit look is going to be here. You're going to have your incantations, and you're going to have the blasphemous flame. And we're going and depending on the build you have, you're going to get m most of your uh, damage from doing the takeins flames. Obviously, you don't need to use Taken Flames every single time, but at least for uh, when everything's propped, every Taken's Flame attack is going to do, let's say, over 2k damage. Uh, just unbuffed, uh, you know, with your Faith at max. Well, I have my Faith, Dexterity, and Strength maxed out, so it's going to be doing a fuck-off amount of damage. But, you know, it, 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 really, it really does depend. You're going to want to focus your Faith first, and your if your uh, you're gonna want to focus faith first. Uh, I'd say strength, actually dexterity second, just because that will the the soft hits off of the uh, black flame tornado. It honestly it really depends on what the spear you're going to use is. If the spear prefers strength, go strength. If the spear prefers dexterity, go dexterity. But just make sure that it's your faith that is one of is your level 99 attack stat. Also make sure you have enough stamina. To be able to uh, your endurance to be able to carry all this, so just for uh, posterity's sake, we're going to do a buff. As I, I identified the uh, Erd Tree Avatar here as a large enemy, so we're going to show uh, what's going on. Now, granted, I have 99 inch strength, dexterity, and faith, so that is going to determine some things. See, smooth 4K. And then we go again, we go again. I hit him directly, I get an extra thousand. Voila. That is what it looks like when we attack a, you know, a, 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 a large but slow enemy. Um, from here, I'm going to put a pin, and I'm not going to do the entire run back to market, but we're going to show you guys a, uh, uh, a fast enemy. I know I said Godfrey is gen is a, a large, but um, a large but fast enemy. I would say that Margit fits that description a little bit. Uh, Margit of uh, Morgot displays that description marginally better, but it remains to be seen. We'll uh, I'll get up to uh, Godfrey here, and then I'll show you how uh, this build will tend to work. Also. I wanted to take a second to show there are some enemies that if we're being you know if we're keeping it 100 are genuinely obnoxious to deal with these are enemies such as elden beasts these are enemies such as gargoyles that have basically immunity to basically everything they're not it's not that they're necessarily immune to everything but they're certainly not weak to anything you know, enemies that don't necessarily have any weaknesses, per se, um, or at least it doesn't feel like that. I know Crystallians have a weakness to bonk damage, but that's, I, I don't know, bonk, so. When, what, what normally when you're dealing with an enemy like a gargoyle where you're not sure what is, uh, what's the thing to do, I'm going to show you guys the options of what you can do. Granted, I am also bad at this game, so keep that in mind. So we're going to pop our thing, and if I, and I, and I know that you, I know some people have been, oh no, Black Flame counts, Black Flame doesn't count, it doesn't matter. We're going to use the Black Flame Tornado Ash of War to do that much damage. We're gonna dodge. That hurt. This is an example of an enemy that is that is fast, 
and large. This is how you deal with them. The black flame, in, the black flame uh, attack, and the uh, black flame ritual. These are the, are the things that'll basically will allow you to uh, damage it. Like I said, I'm bad at the game, but y'all see the the presence. It the black because the black flame incantations deal a percentage damage over time. They allow you essentially to. Uh, enemy, as long as you're persistent, they will allow you to deal a lot more damage. The Black Flame uh, Tornado here is better for things like uh, Placida, uh, for uh, uh, the Sacks and the Fire Giant by virtue of the of the, they will stay in one place for you know a, a more extended period of time, allowing you to get one or two of them. Doing so, doing huge chunks of their health because the more circumference that the enemy is in the uh, area of effect for Black Flame Tornado, the better damage you do. The reason why Black Flame Ritual functions a lot the same way, the difference being is uh, it's it doesn't do as much damage even if you get it underneath them, but it what it can do is it can, you know, they'll walk through it and get and hurt themselves subsequently a, a lot. <laughs> It, it, the the black flame uh, uh, incantations are going to be your best friend when dealing with gargoyles, when dealing with um, enemies like War God. And I even say God for even though like I'm on the fence of whether or not they're a they're a fast enemy or not. So, oh, hold on. Let's deal with these folks. Go. Let's pop our thing of a doohickey. Val. Strength. strength. One. Two. Go. I said, not the best of the game, but when you're dealing with a fast, aggressive enemy like that, there are there are there are certain you can still use the blasters. It really does depend on what you're dealing with, like enemy to enemy. The the, the blasphemous blade build, like the taken flames, is going to serve you well in most encounters. There are some encounters that are just going to kind of fuck you in regards to uh, you know not being able to use it. Hence why you're going to use the two crosses. So we're going to just buff like one more. We're going to hit the finger and strength. We're going to hit the golden bow. We are still under our three minute notice for the, for the fire. So here we have a black knife assassin. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, kind of the gist of the build. The uh, I want to, I want, I'm going to teleport one place real quick, just so you guys can see a, I'd say, decent example of why we would use the black flame grenade. All right, we're here at the Cuckoo's Ever Jail, and this is the jail of Bolts Carrion Knight. Um. I want to take a second just to show how this kind of will work. Um, bowls may have the uh, um, the phalanx that can be a little bit of an issue, but I'm not particularly. Watch. Oh, he was over here. Want to use this? Jump. 
jump. And crank it up. Remember, uh, the reason why the dexterity or strength is, is important based on the type of spear you're going to be using is because when you are touching them, you are also hitting them with the spin to win. So, you know, you're getting extra damage off your weapon, not just the damage from the acid boy, your double dip. So you have to make sure that uh, the secondary um, skill you're, dump you're pumping to 99 or is already 99 is going to be uh, either strength or dexterity just to correspond with the spear. But, regardless, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you found something valuable in this build. Um, let me know, actually, in the comments what, how you guys building your, like, super high-level characters out. Obviously, I've been no-lifing uh, Elden Ring on level 600, for Christ's sake. Um, and still able to play conversions with the boys. See this go on. It's quite nice. But, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching. If you want to support the show, please consider doing so at himedia.gg slash tip. $1 a month is a boon to my mental health and gets you exclusive access to, to videos, early access videos, and other plenty of perks serviced through our Discord. Also found at himedia.gg slash Discord. Please, I am very poor. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I appreciate you, your time, and your viewership, and I will see you guys in the landscape. Thank you.